Good morning, day 19. Just swinging around so you can see how calm the weather is today again. Clouds might not say so, but it's incredibly calm. Um, day 18, probably the biggest takeaway from that day was sort of the frustration with how they would rerouted everything through St. Austell. Um, I think people were trying to be too clever. Um, the actual signs were just black arrows with no um, acorns on them, so it took a while to realize it was black arrows only. Um, and then they tended to zigzag all over the place. I got lost twice. So in the end, I just took my own route, um, got my way through, climbed over some rocks, uh, walked about 200 meters over some wave cut platforms, and then got myself through. Um, <laughs> made a dash for the ferry at Foy, um, only to realize having made a dash and caught a quarter past five ferry, that actually they run until 11 at night, just from a different um, uh, different quayside. So, but that's that, that's gone. Today is day 19, it's a new day. Looks like it's gonna be calm all day, similar temperatures. Um, just gonna see how close I can get to Plymouth. Um, I don't expect to get that close, but I mean, to make it such that tomorrow I can then pass through Plymouth. dew on the path. Not quite sure where this path goes. I can see it going further up the hill. But uh, this is what Coast Path looks like. There's a lovely path that goes up and over and straight down. Oh, this is the not so good bit of the path where you're basically walking through vegetation. is the village of Corpello. Beautiful little village to come in. It's high tide. Beautiful harbour. Do a few steps. This little harbour I've come to where it's been high tide where boats are coming in and going out. I saw that boat go out. That one's come in. I'm not an expert, but this looks like where they come and do some of their diving. There's at least three boats with divers on them, and I've seen a few people under the water. Very quiet bay out the way. This is Lou. Coming in, come in through the gap there, and all the way into the harbour at the end. This is East Low on a Sunday. 
This is signposted for the coastal path. So absolutely heaving. Just turned off the main street with a sign saying coastal path and there's nobody. It's a very busy resort um, considering we're in term time. Um, but yeah, nobody. During the hottest part of the day, we have a section through a cool wood. I just swing round so you can see what it's like out there. It is hot. Just come over another headland and into the little village of Seaton, which clearly is very popular. Um, more gravelly than sand. like a posh shanty town building higher and higher and higher and trying to fit more and more and more in. That's what it's like all the way along the coast. Morning. This type of path you get sopping wet from all the dew. In the afternoon all the stinging nettles prop up and if you're not careful you get stung legs all the way through. Slightly inland, having to go around an MOD firing range. There's the countryside inland. 